that we could see severe weather tomorrow on one of its biggest nights. Pitbull is expected to draw a huge crowd, but as our Jonathan Martinez found out, rodeo folks do have plans in place just in case things get dangerous. Jonathan? You know, guys, today wasn't too bad with the exception of a lot of cloudy skies overhead, but if you take a look just over my shoulder, you can see those flags up there really whipping in the wind, and that's signaling a change in the weather, and Mother Nature is certainly on the minds of a lot of people out here, including the organizers with the rodeo who say they have safety procedures and protocols already in place. Well, that's going to be the weather maker for us. Let With the rodeo now in full swing and bad weather in the forecast, rodeo organizers say they already have plans in place. We're in Houston, Texas, so uh, we expect rain and uh, some light winds occasionally. Starting tomorrow, the next couple of days could see the worst of the weather with gusty winds, lightning, and possible isolated thunderstorms. That's got crews loading up sandbags now and tying stuff down for safety. We'll uh, take covers off bike racks. We'll put uh, sandbags in trash cans. Additionally, crews have this long range acoustic device or LRAN that sends out pre recorded warning messages in the event of severe weather or to ask folks to evacuate or seek shelter. We're the world's largest indoor rodeo and the world's largest indoor stock show. So there's a lot of things to do under cover and out of the weather. As for all the carnival rides and outdoor activities, crews along with the safety committee are constantly monitoring the weather to decide if anything needs to be temporarily shut down. Regardless of the forecast, Mother Nature isn't stopping rodeo goers from getting out. Weather doesn't stop cowboys. They, they're going to ride whether it's raining or, or not. And again, tomorrow night is expected to be a pretty big one with pit bulls set to take the stage. But a lot of people telling us they are not stopping from coming out just because of the weather. And in fact, they're talking about last year saying this is nothing compared to last year when we saw 10 days of rain during the rodeo season. We are reporting live from the Houston Rodeo. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News.